it was like a, a chain reaction, you know? The journalist knew that he could have lost his life. Mm. What's good, good y'all? It's the Demonstrates React, and we're back, back with, with another, another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we are back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Check his vlogging camera out. <laughs> the law of the country was that we're not allowed to take pictures of anything that the police have done. Oh, wow. So I knew. Now we're recording in 2023. Ooh. Everything that the police do. Everything. Everything. And people still get looked at and say, you know what? You're, 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 you're tampering with the investigation. Or you, you're going to make this the scene more hype than what it needs mm -hmm. to be because you're recording it. Right. And our response is that you have a body cam. Right. You got your safety. I want mine. My evidence. I was risking my life. That's a nice camera. The last picture mm -hmm. that I took with this camera is for Hector Pages in June 16, 1976. Growing up, even though we heard about apartheid. It did not make sense to us because we are based in Soweto and there is no white person in Soweto. The only white person that you'd see would be superintendent, police. So he did not really understand what apartheid is. About 1976, we were told that subjects are going to be taught in Africans. Okay, as deep and gedacht er terwijl hij hankend aan staat squilty. So we felt like the very same subject that we are struggling with English, we are going to do in Africans. This doesn't make sense. For many years, blacks were learning English, but when they say that now you must try to learn everything in Africans, it was difficult for the students. We preferred to be taught in English because we felt like English is the international language. So when the, the school system do these things, automatically do you think they felt targeted hmm definitely i mean the laws were restrictive and she said they were already struggling with certain subjects and learning it in english and because it was an international language they you know they wanted to get through it they wanted to continue that way mm. i don't even know what afrikaans is honestly i i i think some of you guys have like shared that it's like the um dutch Mm. language um with us but like uh, before y'all share that with us like i've seen it like on drop down menus when you have to select like english you know spanish all of those things but i never knew like what that language was mm. so i, hope, I can understand their 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 fr um outrage yeah i mean i would be confused yeah like if we're thriving in our class and then all of a sudden y'all drop a new way of learning and y'all want us to learn something totally different then now it's like regardless of what year we in or what month we in or the school year y'all pushes us back right it's like we gotta relearn something That's or learn like, something new okay now our oppressors think that whatever they want to say to us we will do because we are afraid of them so we just decided that we are really going to demonstrate some students leaked the information to the world newspaper they told us tomorrow is going to be students protesting against Africans. Mm. The students standing On the 16th of June in 1976, we were so excited. It was like we were going on a school trip. <laughs> to them, it was just a joyful march. The singing, the chanting, we felt free. Surprisingly, a whole of Soweto came together That's a lot of to march. Wow. That's a lot they said of the students, whole town. 10,000 students. Wow, all the babies. Oh, wait, all the students. As I was okay. marching with the students, I drifted away from them because I didn't know how it was going to happen. But I knew they would be arrested or even shot by the police. Oh, wow. Police barricaded some of the street 
So our leaders told us that other schools are on their way. The student leader climbed on top of the tree, telling them that this is a peaceful march. I was between the police and the students. And I put my armband, which has got written press. Yeah. And again, I always feel like when there's a march happening, we're always vocalizing, let it be peaceful. Right. I just don't understand how the violence happens after, like, in the, in, in the midst of all of this peace. An uh, agitator. Somebody from the other side playing the other mm -hmm. side? An uh, agitator. For real, though. This must identify me as a journalist, not a, a student. While waiting for these other students, all of a sudden, there was a shot. Mm. All the police were just shooting at random. Children. So the students scattered. I think what provoked the police is that they sang the song which was banned in South Africa, which today is a national anthem. We all ran amok wow. in confusion, running for cover. I didn't. We have to go find this national anthem, no? We got to. Y'all know we're finna go get it. Because what? Come on, man. Like Y'all called them out. <laughs> and now it's y'all national anthem. Y'all really shook the hive with that one. Wow. They say, okay, y'all can be what peaceful. Was so, what was so wrong with the song? We got to find out now, babe. Dang. Wow, that is crazy. Words are What's powerful. What's the lyrics of this song? Words are powerful. <laughs> I almost want to stop this video just to go check <laughs> it out. Real? Like, what is that? Like, give me the files. Like, we got this one in the queue somewhere, maybe? No, oh, I, well, man. maybe, because last time I checked, we had like a hundred more I had to add to the playlist. Which is now the national <laughs> the anthem. Wow. wow. That's crazy. We're going to go check it out after this. Mm -mm -mm. I even think of my brother would be in that, because we were told that only secondary and high schools were to take part. Then I spotted my younger brother on the opposite side of the pavement. He was too young to understand what was really uh, going on. I just said to him, no, you must just stay here next picture? to me. I'll make sure I find That show did look like her when she was the girl there on was, the side. Was hand up. Yeah. While I was talking to him, there was another shot. And we went two separate ways. I was very close from where the police were shooting. And I saw a person fell down. But I did not expect to see a 13-year-old boy being shot by the police. As I sneak back to the pavement, he was nowhere to be seen. That look right here, this when picture right here, that looked like her. That's her. To that picture, Buiso Makuba picked him up to get Hector Peters into the clinic. So I quickly ran to the scene. I was trying to explain myself, this is my younger brother. Where are you taking him? The man never said anything. And I looked at my brother. I saw blood coming from the side of the mouth. As he was about to put my brother in the car, he said, he's dead. He was trying to save his life. What started as a peaceful protest degenerated into a rampage and later exploded into a bloody conflagration. No, what he should have said was started as a peaceful protest later turned into a chaotic moment because the police shot first. All because y'all didn't like the song. The words. These are adults. <sighs> boy, boy. So it was on the fire. No journalist was sleeping on that night until the following day. There was a cloud of smoke all over Soweto. Bent houses, buses, it was tense. I knew that the police will force me to open all my cameras. So I removed the film quickly and I stuck it on my sock. When the police opened all my cameras, all the films were exposed, except the picture that I took of Hector Peterson. There was a big debate up at the World newspaper. The editor thought we must not use this picture because this picture is going to spark civil war in South Africa. But eventually, the editor of the World newspaper decided that no, come what may, we must use this picture. The police came to the office of the World newspaper. They weren't happy about it. They were exposing what the government was doing. Of course, the picture was burned in South Africa. I did not know that it was going to have such a big impact.
this no matter what part of the world you're going through if you Yo, he disappeared. When my brother and we son came back to the house, maybe it was around 9, 10 at night, he was hurt, he was confused. He felt bad that Hector died. His intention was to save him. We had to keep on telling him that, look, when a person has to die, they have to die. It's not your fault. But it just changed from the day. He was no longer the Musa that we knew. I think it did something to him that was that we never understood and never shared it with us. The police didn't like the picture. They said he was posing to show the world what was happening in our country. He's running! We couldn't stay at home because if they found him, they would have arrested him. I think after that he was kind of mentally disturbed. He was being hunted by the police. That's why he escaped from the country and he went to exile. Up to now, nobody knows his whereabouts. Wow. The police also came to me to find out why he took this picture. I told them I was assigned to do this job. And then he said, Sam, choose between your job and your life. Now we have been given a final assignment that we must not arrest you, we must just shoot at you. That's the thing that made me leave the job from the world newspaper. Wow, well, but I've been told not to... I found that Johannesburg was no longer good for me, to be generalist no longer good for me, so I came here at Lily Day, my hideout place where I am now. The rest of his life. I was on house arrest about uh, oh, a year and seven months. During that time, I resigned from the world newspaper. Then after that, they didn't even say that the sentence is over. They just disappeared. Bro, like imagine, regardless of your hand, doing something peaceful, doing something right, doing something just, and all alone just to still get looked at and say you can die for being right. You can die for being for doing something that can help people. Because, I mean, obviously the gentleman in the picture wasn't posing. He was running, trying to save... They were running. That was a real the moment. ...the kid's life. You know what I'm saying? And he was doing his job. People don't like to hear the truth. Yeah, bro. It's just like... They, eh. they don't like to hear the truth. Crazy. For many years, I regretted taking the picture of... Dr. Peterson, because the picture destroyed my future in journalism. But I'm no longer regretted because Mandela, when he was unveiling Hector Peterson Memorial, he said, when we saw this picture, we said, enough is enough. After so many years, people are free in South Africa. And that is really giving me a consolation. In the name of peace, Democracy and freedom for all. When I look at the picture, I cannot remove myself from what happened on the day. But the photo itself, it did not only change our lives as such, but it was a turning point for all South Africans. It did not matter the color. The photo gives us more and more sadness every day because my brother just disappeared off the face of the earth. After all these years, I realized that it's not just a picture, it's something quite big. It did something good for the country. We buried my brother on the 3rd of July. The hardest part of it was, why did police open fire? It really did not make sense. Because as we were students, we never had weapons. The photo itself tells it all. 
even the youngest were there they felt like being oppressed is not okay look at what happened even the youngest was killed <coughs> so to me the picture reflects all those families who had similar incidents because i know that we were not the only ones I realized that when you want to get something, you must work hard for it. You know, this freedom, the youth of South Africa, they don't value it because they found everything that's been done for them. There are quite a lot of people who died because they wanted to show that we are not supporting the apartheid in the country. The Hector Peterson Museum, it's a place of reconciliation. Those who died made us live better today. And as for my brother, I know that he did not die in vain. The picture changed South Africa and apartheid. It did. Because the world, they felt that this is enough. Yeah, that, that moment, though it was hard, it changed life for a lot yes. of people in South Africa. A 13-year-old boy. How can they look at this picture and say that this man was posing? They're literally running. The child, the poor child, probably, he probably knew it had already happened in his arms. That's probably why he was mentally disturbed. This is horrible. It's horrible. History is ugly, man. It is. All right, so that's that, man. So we're going to stop for a moment right quick and make sure Sierra don't tear up. Got to be strong, <laughs> right? Um, this is a hard video. History like. history have so many unveiling that we don't know about, and it just gets deeper and deeper, and I feel like there's always a piece of it that people just don't want you to know. Mm -hmm. um, this gentleman did lose his life in this video, but because he did, Nelson Mandela was able to really vocalize his yeah. real feelings and emotions towards the people that really needed freedom you know right right it was like a, a chain reaction you know the journalist knew that he could have lost his life mm -hmm. um the journalist could have gotten you know well he did say he did with a shot at him it wasn't about him yeah, going so to jail he had to put the press on on his shoulder whatever arm something he said um bruh just oh nah, this is cool. not this is knowing not knowing that your little brother is going to be there because only, you know, secondary and I forgot what they call them. Only the upper levels of uh, students, classes, yeah. students were supposed to be there and to see a 13-year-old there. Your 13-year-old brother, you talking to him, you... Not knowing that the officers is going to open fire. you. Crazy. Not knowing. Hey, you know My what I'm thoughts are all over the place right now, y'all. Yeah. This... I was not expecting this. I was not. I saw this picture in our history books. Really? Yes. I remember seeing this picture in our history books. I could have came across it. Did not know the background of it, though. Like, when we got to, like, the Nelson Mandela units. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay, guys. Um... We hope you guys enjoyed this video course, with us. Like yeah. this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you would like to support the channel that way. As well as our joint feature to become a VIP member of the channel. Send in your reaction request through our description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.